In the kitchen now, we have some guests from the Tennessee and Hotel. We've got Anthony Plouffe, who is the executive chef, and we also have Kyle Haggerty, who is the drawing room manager. And we're talking charcuterie <laughs> today. We've got wine and we've got cheese. Anthony, what is the key, do you think, to a good um, meat and cheese plate? So the key is going to be variety, um, which we try to get something, whether it's the meat or the cheese, that's taste on different ends of the spectrum. Um, so these charcuterie boards, obviously with the holidays coming up, entertaining is a really big thing that people are worrying about. These are our go-to. Um, you can set these out. You don't have to worry about them being cold or hot. They can sit at room temperature. Um, what we include on ours at the drawing room, so we've got three meats and cheeses that I'll describe, and then Kyle's going to pair them with some beverages. Um, we try to keep everything as local as possible. So we have some Benton's Country Ham. It's aged 24 months, so it eats more like a um, prosciutto. It's a lot more smoother. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as salty. Mm -hmm. Um, we have some Sopraceta, and this actually comes from Elkmont Exchange right down the road. Okay. Um, and then we've got some Copa. Now you'll notice the Copa is actually a whole muscle cut if you look at the texture inside versus the Sopraceta, which is the ground up. Um, now Copa is a bit lighter, um, just a little bit of a salt flavor and the natural taste of the meat, whereas Sopraceta has got a heavy seasoning to it. And if you have the right wine, Kyle, mm -hmm. it brings out the flavor of the wine and of the meat or the cheese. These examples here, what, would, what pairs well, do you think? So I kind of did them in order with the meat. A good rule of thumb kind of for charcuterie boards and cheese is think red wines for more of your cheese. Think, you know, light, crisp, fruity for your cured meats. Um, so we've got a rosé right here, which would pair really, really well with the Benton's Country Ham. Benton's Country Ham is going to be a little bit more salty. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be fatty, so you're going to want to have those fruity and those acidic notes that are going to be able to cut through that. If you were to drink a red wine with it, Chances are the Benton's Country Ham would probably make the wine not taste as good, and the wine wouldn't really help it out either. So um, you need to drink this with three bottles of wine. Is <laughs> of course. Well, I mean, we're always you trying You got to something bubbly there on the end? We do. On the very end here, Vauve Clicquot Rose um, Yellow Label. It's their Brut Champagne, um, and that will go as well with your cured meats there. But all in all, at the end of the day, Bubbles goes with charcuterie and cheese. And Any day. And you talked about the range of meats. Mm -hmm. you have the, is the brie over there that's mild? And then what do we have over here? That's so this is a bit? stout cheddar. It's a Cahill stout, which is really cool. They take a reduced Guinness and then pour that in with a cheese curd, and it gives you that great texture. Mm. So Anthony and Kyle, of course, we could try to replicate this at home, <laughs> but when can we try it at the Tennessean? Well, it's available all the time up in the drawing room. Mm -hmm. uh, we're located on the second floor of the uh, hotel there. Valet's free, so you can just pull right up. And we're open on Christmas Day. So wow. if you want to just mm -hmm. come bring your family in and we can start your day, um, we'd love to do that and oh. have a pleasure to serve you on Christmas. So. Lovely Christmas plans. Thank you guys so much Absolutely. for coming thank in. You, thank and you. Thank you for showing us these delicious pairings. Well, coming up, weddings.